So can anybody can anybody see the red flag here? Did anybody notice something that was missing? Hey, can I speak to somebody in sales? Hey, I had a question on a car that you guys have in stock. I have a stock number when you're ready. Yes, sir, with the last four? Yeah, it's 7666. And is the vehicle available when you plan on passing by to check it out? Uh, well, it's in transit, so if we can agree to numbers, then I can uh, put a deposit and get it all worked out, even tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so I have to say my Silverado specialist is available. Uh, we close at 9 p.m., so if you're working with a customer right now, chances are I won't, check, I won't get the availability of this vehicle until tomorrow. But um, what we'll do is at 9 a.m. Eastern time, I'm going to get a text sent to you by one of my sales representatives if that's okay by you. I guess, yeah, I don't know if you had any clarity. It says that you guys are offering like $13,000 off, $14,000 off. It just seems like such a crazy, ridiculous, insane deal. I just wanted to... Uh, like see is there like well, we, have the best deals, we have the best deals in the United States because we're the number one Chevy dealership in the U.S. Okay. So what happens is we get them the inventory of Silverados and uh, we're able to uh, we're able to um, guarantee our customers the best prices in the market and still make profit as a dealership. Oh okay so you still make profit on this number. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it's a business at the end of the day. But luckily, we're able to get so much inventory that if you compare it to the rest of the market in the United States, no matter where you are, we're going to get you the best price. So no, no, everybody else is offering ten percent, but you guys can offer twenty percent. Yeah, that's the luxury of being number one, and then that's also the luxury of the only competition being the number two and the three in the United States, which happens to be my sister stores. Oh, okay, so number one, number two, number three is all you guys. So you're saying I don't have to trade anything in, I don't have to lease anything, I can just get this $14,000 off your website, no haggle. You do have to finance, you do have to finance with, through GM Financial. You do have to understand this isn't an out-the-door price, this is the price of the vehicle. You do have to pay the dealership fee, uh, tag, uh, tag the registration, state tax. Okay, and what's your dealership fee? Our dealership fee is $999. Okay, and there's no like additional add-ons or VIP plans or anything crazy. I'm just paying tax, title, license, and a doc fee. Sir, I'm gonna, once again, I have to confirm that this one is available though, because if this one isn't available, my system's only showing me I have one left. So if this one isn't in, then we don't have any left, and we probably won't receive any until the next month. And next month we'll have different specials on the vehicle. So that's the first thing I'm gonna confirm with you. I'm here tomorrow from nine to nine, regardless. Uh, make sure we stay in touch, okay? Okay, sounds good. Appreciate it. So, can anybody can anybody see the red flag here? Like, can anybody? Did anybody notice something that was missing? I'll wait for it. I mean, to be fair, they close in ten minutes, but yeah, he didn't even ask for my number. He didn't even confirm my number. Car guy, you think? Car, car guy, wait, can we all just shame Chevy? Apparently, there's 20% markup in a Chevy, and there's still room for fi or for profit. He didn't even ask for my name. The chances I get a call back from that dealership are slim to none. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Ooh. Hey, man, I'm doing well. Hey, I wanted to see if you guys had a car still available. Yeah, which vehicle was it? All right, for the, uh, the Tundra? Yeah, absolutely, the CRD Pro. Yes, uh, the 2024. Yeah, it looks like it is still available. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so I was calling because I was told I had to call to get the STG best price. I see you guys have the price with the cross through it, so I figured you guys are doing a pretty good deal on it, so I figured I'd call and ask what that was. I'd love to see if there, um, if there is an additional discount or not. Okay. Um, and what was your name, sir? Uh, my name is Elijah. Elijah. All right, perfect. All right. Um... So it does look like this vehicle is going for the seventy five thousand eight eighty eight. Okay. Um, so no, no update pricing for the uh, for the Murado sale. So that is the current pricing. Okay. And then uh, there's the, some fine print saying there like there are some other things that are on there, other like add ons. Do you know what those are? Yeah. So usually um, we sell all of our vehicles, but, or the way we sell it, of course, we have accessories like a lot of the dealerships. The stuff that we usually offer for all of our vehicles is um, Death Patrol, which is a GPS tracker, and then Prince Protection Package. We do tents and door guards, and then we offer like extended warranty, gap, and protection, that type of stuff. Okay. So you guys don't have like aftermarket wheels, lift kits, lowering kits, tents, just the tent? Yeah, tents. Um, I don't believe we did a 
a lift kit. Say if we did do the lift kit, of course, then yeah, we will have a cost on it and everything like that. But from this one, I, it looks like this is the, the factory lift kit and everything like that. Same thing with the rent. Okay. Do you know roughly what the cost of all those add-ons are? Usually, typically, on average, like, the, they're anywhere from, like, three to six grand on average for, the like, the normal stuff, just depending on what accessories they are. So, uh, three to six grand for tent? Well, no, for, like, all of our accessories, I mean. Tent, door, edge guards, and the theft protection. Do you know, like, can you yeah, tell me, like... and the frame protection. Okay, that's, like, a crazy difference. You know, it's 3K, 6K on this car. Like, it seems like it's a bigger car. Do you know, like, which one it would be? Like, why would it be... I guess I'm confused. Why would it be different, like, on this car versus... A Chevy Silverado. Well, like normally the stuff that we have with all of our vehicles is the death patrol tent and the, the door guards, and then um and then the appearance protection package. It just depends if it, like we we started the process on it or not. Okay. Um, that's why I say three to six or so. Um, sure. And then of course if you want extended warranty, that would be an additional and then gap and all that type of stuff. Okay, so you did the appearance package. It's going to be six thousand dollars of add-ons. If it didn't, it might be three thousand dollars of add-ons. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any way to say no to all that stuff? Yeah, of course, all the accessories are negotiable and everything like that. Um, would you be able to make it in so we could try to work that out for you? Uh, could you just, I mean, I'd rather just figure out if it's negotiable over the, I mean, if it's, if you're able to remove them all over the phone and tell me you're not willing to pay those and I might come in to look at the truck, but I don't want to pay for six grand of add-ons. That's insane. Yeah, I understand. Like I said, uh, the accessories are, you know, uh, we don't force them. We won't lose your business over or anything like that. Um, it's just for me to try to get you the best possible deal with my finance, because, of course, my finance mentor, he would be the one who would make the decision and everything like that when it comes to what type of deal he would make. Um, the only way I could try to make that type of deal happen if you're trying to pay for no accessories is if you're here in person. Okay. Um, and, and what if I want to pay cash? Is that allowed? Yeah, we do cash deals as well. That won't be an issue. Okay, does the price change at all if I pay cash? Um, the price will be the same if you do cash or finance. I'll be honest with you there. Okay, so it's, okay, I'll be, I appreciate you being honest with me there. So three to $6,000 of add-ons. The only way you'd consider removing them is if I come in person. Uh, then you guys will make my life easy. And you just, if I walk in there, you'll say, yep, they're all gone. Yeah, there shouldn't be an issue at all to you know work it out and everything like that. It's just a matter of you being here in person. Okay, cool. So just to confirm, if I come in, you'll say, yep, no add-ons, we're good to go. I won't have to pay for any of those, but I have to be there for you to say that. Yeah, like I said, um, like I said, though, my finance is the one who makes the final decision on that. That's the only way for me to try to convince them to make that type of deal is if you're here in person. Uh, okay, okay. So the only way to convince him if, if you're there in person, not, not over the phone, he won't. <laughs> He won't, he won't, he won't give you a thumbs up. Yep. Let's sell a car over the phone. Yeah, basically he, he likes our customers here in person. So he could actually like, you know, work the deal properly and then, you know, on everything like that, of course, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to work a deal properly over the phone. You know, like people don't do that anymore. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to give you a false promise over the phone or anything like that. Say, oh yeah, no, that no accessories, 5k discount and all that. When you come in and like, oh, I can't do a no discount or anything like that. Of course, okay. you know, so, I don't like we bring anyone in on false promises. So just to make sure I'm on the same page, there's a chance I get six thousand dollars off. But there's a chance that you can do nothing off, right? Oh no, like I, it won't be like nothing off at all. Like I'm saying, like there's no chance like you won't get your oh you're forced to pay six grand of accessories, you know. Like so that's on our, our usual cost of the stuff that we offer with the like the typical stuff, but they're completely negotiable. Like I can definitely get that number worked down completely for you, you know. But like I said, I, to get it completely taken off, he would be the one who would give the thumbs up on the okay or not. But he's more than willing to you know negotiate mm -hmm. discount stuff and everything like that with the accessories, of course, okay. to get you a better deal if he's not willing to take everything off of course yeah you so won't be stuck at like a six grand over deal the problem is, is I'm, i wouldn't say i'm the best negotiator in the world so i'm nervous that you guys are just gonna be able to win and i'm just gonna pay six grand of add-ons because you guys are gonna say no no it's all good if it like trust me like i've had all you know everyone's a different type of negotiator and everything like that if you're trying to be somewhere certain we'll, we'll try to get you exactly where you're trying to be make sure we can fit into your budget and everything okay got it okay so so a door edge guards tent some paint protection and theft protection for six grand yes that's our, our the usual stuff we sell okay what's the what's let's be because you said i can trust you what's like the usual discount you guys do i mean like on average i've seen at least um you know like brought it down to like i've seen like 
where we've got it down to the assessors where it's 1500 I've seen somewhere it's like 500 to 1000 It just depends on the deal and everything like that. Depends how good of a negotiator I am. So if I'm a really good negotiator, yeah. I might get it to 500 But if I'm bad, I might be at 5500 no, no, like I think you could be less than 5,500, you know, like I probably like, oh. easily at least get it down to like, you know, at least the three to maybe even two, maybe even lower. Like I said, it just okay. depends, you know, I, I'm the, I'm the middle man. I'm the one that's trying to help you out, get you the best possible deal. So I'll help fight my, you know, okay. with my finance to get you the better deal for your, you know, for your bill. No, I appreciate that. I think having a middleman is super important in these to you know, make sure you get a fair deal, you know, having somebody that's fighting for you rather than, uh, you know, having like the evil finance manager kind of decide everything. Because if so, I bet the finance manager is greedy and he would just make all the profit, right? He'd be charging six grand if you weren't fighting for me, right? Exactly. Like, you know, I, I'm trusting me. My, my biggest thing is make sure you like the chart and then helping you out to get you the best possible deal. Awesome. Perfect. That's what I like to have. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you are. Let me let me think about this. It's about a 30 minute drive to you. And I don't know. Uh, um, like I said, I, I have I want to talk it over to the lady to see if we want to go through a fight of accessories or not. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll let you know. And we'll go from there. OK, sounds good. Is it OK if I take your number and shoot you my, my direct line so you're able to reach out to me if you can't make it in? Yep, sure. I can give you my number. Perfect, Elijah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shoot you a quick text from my direct line. Um, and then uh, that'll be my direct line. I'm just going to say, hey, this is Michael with STG. I'll shoot your exact address as well. And just let me know if you can stop by. OK, sounds good. Of course. Have a good one. All right. Sounds good. Bye. All right. Bye. So let's talk about this. So let's talk about this. Um, this dealership. It's three to six thousand dollars of add-ons, and that's what you're negotiating, like right out of the gate, right? Three to six thousand dollars of add-ons. He won't tell you what you normally negotiate off of them. He won't. He wouldn't even give me like a price of what they normally are. They're somewhere between three to six grand, just depending on what the manager is feeling that way. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I think we all agree the salesperson, me and you, is having a middleman that's able to negotiate on your behalf and fight for you is the best way to buy a car. Um, I think he said it perfectly. He said that, you know, the middleman is there to fight for you. Um, and it's the only way to buy a car. I don't, I, I don't know how we could relate this to other things, but that's what he said. So we want to, we want to trust him.